Uh, looking again at becoming a translator, chapter nine this time, social networks. Um, just my completely random thoughts that probably won't help you understand it, but there you go. Um, I was really interested in something here. The, uh, the whole section on the historical invisibility of translators as monolingual rulers' servants, what he called controlled nobodies. And there's a whole long section about that. And I found that really fascinating and completely new, by the way. I have read this book like a million times, but somehow I'd completely missed that bit. Um, this idea that theory was used as a kind of armour by translators to justify what they're doing. That's interesting, very interesting. So it's saying, if I can quote a theory, that gives me a justification for sort of existing. And if you know, if I'm compa if you're comparing me to another translator, and I can name five translation theories, that kind of proves I'm better. Interesting, very interesting. I mean, does it? Of course it doesn't. Of course it doesn't. You could understand every theory in the world and not be a better practical, not a better translator for a particular job. But then I would argue this, the same is true of anything. Experienced, yeah, you can be experienced. Doesn't mean you're good. I'm not sure what kind of surefire surefire bulletproof method there is to know that someone's going to be good at what they do um, you know the best translator in the world might have an off day when they're doing your job that happens you know how do you know which penalty kick taker in soccer football is the best player you don't they, they might have scored every penalty ever and they miss your one there's no way of knowing um, but if they can sort of show well look I've scored 99 out of 100 that gives you this confidence and theory does give us more confidence. Um, but I think, to some extent, it's a kind of false distinction because theory and experience kind of interact. I don't think you improve in the same way. I don't think you gain experience in the same way if you don't have a th good theoretical understanding of what you're doing. Um, and I think as you're working, you as experience creates deeper theories and theories give way and allow you to develop more experience. So it's, um, yeah, it's a tricky distinction to make. Um, yeah, generally, if you don't know theory, you're probably not going to be very good, but it doesn't mean you definitely will be very good. How much theory? I don't know. I'm, I've, I've met people who know way more theory than me and can't translate for nuts. Um, I think there probably is a 80-20 rule or something like that, you know, but I, I have it in my to-do list every week. I do half an hour of reading on some kind of translation theory, uh, some kind of translation textbook, whether it's this one, uh, I, I finished Mona Baker, done this one, currently reading um, Translating Chinese Culture, um, yeah, and I just work my way through half an hour or so every week, and it adds up, you'd be surprised how quickly you get good at stuff in it it's one of those things probably 90% of the reading doesn't help but no one knows which 90% <laughs> which where does that 10% come from you know but yeah uh, interesting